Charlottesville, Virginia, the Cavaliers of Virginia suffer another heartbreaker this afternoon as Jim Grove brings the Demon Deacons in here to Scott Stadium and escapes with a win. Three critical turnovers for Virginia this afternoon really cost them. Well, you figured these two teams were challenged a little bit because of personnel injuries, but because uh, they haven't been able to put points on the board. So the cleaner team, the team was going to play cleaner, was going to win. This game got off to a quick start. Wake Forest right from the very first punt. Well, Laval Jackson catches the ball in stride. He got a nice uh, core of blockers, found the wall, and got it inside the 20-yard line, which set up uh, a quick scoring drive. Josh Harris out of the Wildcat formation, shoves it in from 16 yards, and very quickly Wake Forest had taken a 7-0 lead. It was an interesting start to this ball game because Wake looked on fire, but the Cavaliers of Virginia wouldn't go away. They found uh, here Tim Smith catches a little bootleg play, explosion play, puts him down in scoring range, come right back, take a shot to gamble deep. Could he get it in? Was he in or out? They declared that he was out of bounds, uh, stunted, and they missed the field goal as, as a result. Second quarter, Sims heated up a little bit, hit four of his seven passes. Yeah, great job of getting a drive right before the end of the half, uh, provided an opportunity for them to maybe go in with some momentum, but it was a late play on a squib kick, a penalty, put him in position to make a throw there to Terry, and as it turned out, Wake Forest went in at halftime with some of the momentum, getting three right at the half. Young Chad Hedlund, the kicker for Wake Forest, had a terrific afternoon. Never could get quite get the running game going, and another here's another turnover. Wake Forest was swarming all day long against the run game. That led to another one of those field goals you talked about. Hedlund hit from 22, 44, and 24 yards this afternoon for the Demon Deacons. Got into the fourth quarter, game still in doubt, but another turnover rears its ugly head. An ill-advised throw by Philip Sims, picked off by Kevin Johnson inside the five-yard line and took away an opportunity. And this was the game sealer right here. Off Kalik Shepard's face mask on the punt, and that was it. Let's go downstairs to Mike Hogwood with head coach Jim Grove. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> They're never easy, but I know after a week off and a couple of losses, this has to feel good. Yeah, Mike, uh, I thought our defense hung in there great. The offense took care of the football today, and that was the difference. I told the kids at halftime, guys, this is deep ball. We're probably into our 60-something game that's gone into the second half with the chance to win and got to make plays. I'll tell you, making plays, one player, Nikita Whitlock in the middle there, was making plays for your defense all day. It's great to have him healthy, I know. Big time, and he got a little tired, but he just kept going. I'm telling you, when, when he's healthy, it makes us better. How do you feel about this team right now? Got to win after a couple of losses. Uh, you're not in bad shape. Well, we had to have this one, Mike. I was disappointed in our last two games because we turned the ball over. We didn't win turnover battle, and I thought we have a pretty good football team. I think Virginia's a pretty good football team. We're just very happy to get back on the winning track. Congratulations with the win today. Thank you, Mike. Up Tim, back up to you. Wake Forest won the turnover battle here this afternoon. Again, the final score, Wake Forest 16, Virginia 10, on this week's ACC Network game.